Dozens of people are searching for a missing hiker in the gorge. 21-year-old Riley Zickel set out on an overnight hike by himself. Colorado County Sheriff's Office is searching for a missing hiker on the Olympic Peninsula. Don and Trevor Higgins. The father and son were last seen Friday. They disappeared while hunting near Bear Camp Road above Agnes. 21-year-old Riley Zickel, the senior at Lewis and Clark College, An disappeared. An plea from friends of a woman who is missing right now in the Skamania County wilderness. She's 19 years old, Maureen Kelly. Searchers are looking for a 76-year-old farmer who did not come back from mushroom hunting near Grangeville. Hello everyone and welcome to the Pacific Northwest Missing Persons Project. I'm your host Tanner Hoskins, director of the Pacific Northwest Missing Persons Project and co-founder at the Pacific Northwest Bigfoot Search. It's been a couple of weeks since our last upload and that's due to our ongoing efforts to plan for an upcoming search and recovery operation in relation to the Carl Don Parkins disappearance that I highlighted in a prior episode. Our search operation will be taking place on April 19th through April 21st with an area of about 120 acres of land that needs to be searched. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this disappearance, Dawn vanished near the Table Rock Wilderness of Clackamas County, Oregon on April 22nd of 2023. Other than Dawn's pickup truck, no other sign of Dawn has ever been located in the area. And as of this recording, I am scheduled to meet with the sergeant in charge of the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office search and rescue team on April 2nd to go over search and rescue maps and discuss aspects of the case that will better assist our team in our own search and recovery operations. We are proud to be able to assist the Parkins family in their search for their missing loved one at no cost of the family. If you or someone you know may have seen or had an interaction with Don Parkins on April 22nd, 2023, please reach out to the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office and provide them with the case number 23-008383. With that being said, let's get into this week's episode. Stefan Bezert, a 23-year-old male, an exchange student in physics from the University of Stuttgart in Germany, was attending courses at Oregon State University in Corvallis, Oregon. Stefan and a friend, Jern Frostman, also a physics graduate student from Germany that was also attending Oregon State, traveled to the Olympic National Forest for a spur-of-the-moment weekend hiking trip on January 20th, 1992. Something happened between January 20th and January 23rd that caused Stefan and Jern to become separated. According to the Register Guard, a Eugene newspaper article written about the two hikers from January 23rd, 1992 stated that the two hikers traversed into the Solduck four miles to Deer Lake. For some reason, the two hikers separated with Bezert heading across the mountains to the Ho River Ranger Station about 23 miles of trail that crosses the high divide of the Olympic National Forest. This route would have put Stefan in the midst of the Olympic high country during one of the fiercest snowstorms to impact the area for the winter season. Most of the Olympic mountains was covered in five foot deep snow at elevations around 5,000 feet and higher, with most of the snow falling just after Stefan's disappearance. Stefan was only wearing a light sweater and windbreaker, light hiking boots and blue jeans, and was only carrying fresh fruit to eat during his hike. It has been through my research and networking with other outdoorsmen who have traversed this landscape that I can honestly say most experienced hikers and climbers would have avoided this trail due to the conditions at the time. As the search effort started up, deep snow and rough weather conditions hampered search efforts for the majority of the five-day search. More than 14 inches of snow would fall in one evening during the search operation. During the extensive search and rescue operations, six search and rescue members camped out overnight on the upper Bogachiel River at Deer Lake, just in case Stefan self-rescued and needed immediate assistance. That scenario, unfortunately, never played out. Stefan Bezert, nor any of his belongings, has ever been seen again. So what happened to Stefan Bezert? It was found in 2017 that Olympic National Park, which garners more than 3 million visitors every single year, 
lacked proper search and rescue procedures and had no written procedures about how park personnel should react to a missing person case within the boundaries. More than 32 years later, Stefan joins the list of several missing persons in the area, including John Devine, 73-year-old from Sakiam, Washington, who vanished in September 1997, and Gilbert Gilman, the deputy director of the Washington State Department of Retirement Systems, who vanished in 2006 from the Staircase Trail area. Not one piece of gear or clothing has ever been located from these three missing men. We hope to get up into the Olympic National Park in the coming months, but until we do, it is up to all of us in the outdoors community to keep an eye out for these missing people. Next time you're out in the Olympic National Park around the Soul Duck, please keep Stefan Bezert and his family in your thoughts. You never know when you may locate something that brings answers or closure to a grieving family.